Hello Lux family, it's your boy Jay. Thank you so much for tuning in to my channel. Today we have an amazing video for everyone to actually watch. On my channel, the actual trio bag for the men from Louis Vuitton is such a big hit. So I thought why not surprise you lot with an update on my bag. Today we'll end up talking about the pros, the cons and doing a little what's in my bag review for the men's trio bag. So stick around, comment down below hit the like button and go follow me over on my Instagram where you can see which other bags I have from Louis Vuitton. It's been a while since I've been using this bag in Canada and I just want to show the Lux family a glimpse of how it is and how this bag has held up against all the beating that it's gone through. So here we have it, the men's trio bag in all black. Now, Believe me, I'm in love with this bag as much as the people on my channel. I want to go through the cons of this bag quickly and also the pros. So let's get down to it. The actual first one, I'm going to go with the pros, is that it's such a slim bag. It's well designed, well thought out, just about the right amount of pockets in it. I do actually like wearing this just at like a mid waist length. Something I like about that is that it doesn't actually end up, you know, flying about and flinging about. That's another great pro, I guess. And once again, it is actually adjustable. Have you be it tall, short, or whatever you are, you can find the perfect height for that. The edging on the item of this bag has actually held up quite well, actually. I was surprised with that. The zip on this is smooth. You don't have to use both of your hands to be pulling it open. This accessible pocket at the front is good to just slip your phone in there. Actually, I don't have my phone with you to show you. That's really, really great. Another pro that I really like about this Louis Vuitton bag is that the D rings on the side, they're detachable. So if you didn't want to use this with the item, you don't have to, and you can take it out, you know, look bougie, just holding this as a handheld bag. Another thing that I like as well is inside, there's actually like a little slip where you can actually put some documentations inside of that. So that's a nice feature that added on. The material used inside, you can give it a little wipe as well if you dropped anything in there. That is one other thing that I really, really liked. I'm actually like living for this actual strap. Even though it's made out of cotton, it is quite comfy. It's got Louis Vuitton on it. I mean, it is really nice. It is very minimalistic, this bag. If you don't want something that's like right in your face, this is definitely a good bag to go for. The price point on this is not too bad. Another pro as well is that it comes with this little coin holder. Another thing about this that I do like is that this is detachable. If you didn't want this, you can actually just take it off, you know, put it inside of the bag, which is something that I actually do. So there you have it. That's all the pros for this bag. There's probably more, but I just thought I'd give it a quick rundown of the pros that I think are worth noting on this item. Okay, so you probably had enough of actually hearing about the pros. Let's get down and dirty to the cons of this bag. Let's talk about the price point of this bag. It is pretty steep and I will put the price down below in the comments. The first one first being that the actual edges on this item they are quite sharp now that's not the case the case is that it actually catches quite quickly i'm not sure if you can see just over here that is already dented another con about this item is that the zip is starting to lose its like matte finish and it's turning into like a metallic zip I can understand you know if that is the whole point of it but to be fair for me it's a no because i brought the item thinking the zip will actually stay that color but it hasn't it is a bit upsetting it's already starting to lose its color on the zip and i haven't really used this as much like opening and closing it as well Another thing is the D-rings as well. Even though they're getting scratched, they are turning a different color on it, which is a bit upsetting. The material itself, it gets easily dented. 
and yes I understand it's leather and whatnot the slightest scratch on it it actually shows up quite quickly at the end of the day if you're buying an item and you know it's all leather you know that's bound to happen I did want to talk about this little pocket as well well not pocket really a little coin purse when you actually got this over your shoulder or using it as a crossbody bag it actually starts swinging about quite a lot and it gets a bit annoying especially if you have change in there that's why I ended up taking it off because it just kept swinging about and it really draws attention to like yourself and your chest area I ended up taking this off because it just caused too much of an issue for me the strap itself for me it should have been leather I mean I'm not sure about Louis Vuitton why are they heading this way to you know becoming a cotton strap you know error in the Louis Vuitton age but you know especially with the price point this bag should definitely have a nice leather strap if you have noticed as well a lot of these new items that are coming out they are with cotton straps um, tell me in the comments what you think about it I do find it is comfortable but I would like an all leather Louis Vuitton strap so I might have missed that some pros and some cons if you do have this bag comment down below and let me know what are your pros and cons on this bag I actually all together really really like this bag I do feel like this is a great add-on to any men's collection it isn't too in your face it's very stubble sleek and elegant so I definitely use this as a workpiece and like taking this out on the weekends as well because it fits so much stuff in there as you will see later on in the video so let's get down to the next stage of the video and yeah what fits in this beautiful bag I'm gonna just quickly run down on the items that I have inside you don't really need to know the dimensions of it because I'll put that all in the comments down below but believe me this bag even though it is really really slim it fits so much more stuff in here than you would actually think the first one being a you know some gums because we all need to smell fresh i've got my chanel cream as well inside my hands are always dry and no one wants dry hands do they i've got my louis vuitton pocket organizer and that fits all of my cards inside so i can quickly grab that in and out and just tap for my oyster or presto card whatever you want to call it i've also got my headphones as well because i need to drain out all the crap that i hear on the subway also got my keys as well to get into my flat i just throw them in there and that takes up no space at all some sanitizer for my hands as well with all the sea going around we need to protect ourselves in many ways i also got some chapstick as well to keep them lips nice and moist lovely pair of sunglasses as well to block all the shade from people coming at you because you own in a beautiful lv bag a nice little free gift from louis vuitton that we're all about sometimes my face gets a bit greasy and you know i need to calm it down so i have a little stick that helps me absorb all of that oil and i finally bought something that actually has some use to me which is a little mini candy which you know helps in the emergencies that i always have every day every hour is a little mini candy box which holds my candy inside i also keep another coin purse inside with just some change in there because there's no pocket inside that actually holds up the change last but not least i actually have a lysol all-in-one disinfecting spray don't ask me why but I have one in there anyway there you have it that's everything that fits in my Louis Vuitton lovely bag and I'll start oh that's some sweet wrappers um, I actually got probably one more free Louis Vuitton sample spray in there which is the cactus one and there you have it it's literally just like a big black hole in there with one pocket and I'm sure I got some documentation over here as well but that's it it fits so much stuff and you wouldn't even think that it actually can fit a nice little ipad in there as well the mini one there we have it lux family i hope you really really enjoyed the video of what fits in my bag the pros the cons and yes there's not a lot of cons because this bag is actually worth it yes for the price tag you might find like it is a bit expensive but 
you know, it's all leather and it's so beautiful. I've had so many compliments on this bag. You know, people don't realize until you get really close and personal to this bag that it's actually from Louis Vuitton. There is other ones available in canvas, but unfortunately I did have that one and it didn't really suit my lifestyle because it was a bit too much for me. I end up sticking with the leather one. Now, thank you so much once again for watching my videos. It means so much to me. Please remember to follow my Instagram, hit the like button, comment down below, and remember to stay safe. Peace.